All right. All right, all right, all righty then. Hello, hello everyone. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is not a drill. The game you're going to see on screen is actually called this way. Welcome to A. Um, keep in mind, small a, not capital A, extremely important difference. Um, this game was released on uh, October 2021 on the Switch eShop. And um, it was released for one euro at the time. I'm going to explain a little bit as we go on because there are some things that you should definitely know about. And yes, the dates you're seeing uh, on the top le on the top right of the screen is important. We're going to talk about it later. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to new game. There we go. Uh, yeah, good luck finding it on the eShop. We will talk about it. Um, because it was only available... Well, it was only available on the European eShop. Keyword was. Uh, all right. So we're just going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So, we are in the introduction, we are this amorphous blob. Uh, we're going to understand later that this amorphous blob in question is actually a soul. Uh, if you are subject to motion, to flashing lights, look away now. Look away now. By the way, yeah, this, I should have warned, I'm really sorry about this. There is some massive flashing lights warning at two spots in this run. This is the first one. Um, <clears throat> it definitely is, it definitely is an experience you're going to see uh, when we get to it. Okay, switching grounds. So uh, we have these platforms here. Uh, keep in mind, a little property of the character is, is that the character in question is really, really slippery. Uh, which makes platforming really complicated to do. And oof, this uh, little flag that we went through is actually our checkpoint. Going to wait here. There we go. Uh, it's it it was taken down for another reason. I will talk about it during the run. Um, especially for a for an Easter. It's specifically for. There we go. It's specifically for an Easter egg. Okay. It's specifically for an Easter egg uh, that is found on the title screen. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Focus. There we go. Please. Okay. Uh, it's specifically for an Easter egg on the title screen of the game. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, because keep in mind, uh, the power of your jumps is actually defined by how hard you press the A button. Or the B button, sadly. Sorry, because... Uh, the Y button is actually to sprint, the B button is to jump, and the A button does absolutely nothing. We're going to jump over this. We're going to focus a little bit to... Jump over that. Oh, yikes! Yeah, because you do, in this type of uh, tr in this type of stage, you don't have any checkpoints. I need to focus. There we go. This is why my estimate is twenty minutes, by the way, because you can easily get vortexed. And the problem is, it's just the character is just so slippery. Go. We're going to stop there, stop here, go with that, and go with this little star right there. Yeah. yeah, that was not exactly the best look, but don't worry, we will definitely get a little faster over the next stages. 
So we are on uh, a trip to a snowland here. We're going to jump over this uh, snowball right here and outrun the other. And we are on the second screen of this stage right here. Oh, that's fine. Because keep in mind, not only the, the character is slippery, but also it's really... Oh yeah, by the way, if there's a jump scare coming up, like, right now... Boo. Alright, bus tour! Uh, do you remember the bus analogy with the 21 frames? Uh, here, um, it's 6 seconds. You have a bus every six seconds, uh, which is the platform that you have to ride on. Uh, it is an auto-scroller. We love auto-scrollers, as you can see. So, yeah, we're gonna have to stand on it. We're gonna have to wait. Yeah, bus. Both bus with a question mark, which is pretty weird. Going to wait there. Wait until the ending. There we go. We have the platform here. That was close. There we go. See, what I did is I just skipped like about a second by just jumping into the void because the trigger is actually a line that goes like all the way down. So boing boing boing, uh, I give you two guesses as to what exactly this stage entails. Going to wait here. There we go. Wait there. Okay. All right. Ancient Obstacles 2. Yes, Ancient Obstacles 2, by the way. This is... I don't know why it's called Ancient Obstacles 2. But, yeah. It is a thing, and... This level is actually pretty hard because of these enemies right there that I can't really define. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. I was a little bit too on the right, sadly, so it happens. Keep in mind, with the slippery physics of the character, it becomes extremely hard to control where you land on a platform which makes a certain jump deceptively hard. Whee. So here we have this uh, platform there. We're going to go into the stage that is called Whale Poop. I... Well, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, fun fact, every single time you enter this stage, well, you enter the whale, you have a random amount of seconds that is added to your counter. It can be 35, it can be 70. This time it's 50. Uh, I don't know why. I have, n I have not a single clue why. But it's certainly something. There we go. Just going to collect the checkpoint there. That was a close one. Okay. We're good. There we go. Um, and flashing lights. So yeah, um, fun fact, normally you can do the three stages, but turns out if you actually do uh, the whale stage, you actually skip the need to do the two others. I don't know why, but you do. 
so yeah, uh, you basically skipped an entire you basically skip an entire minute of uh, of playing. So right now we have um, we are going to go to the arcade in Shibuya and uh, check these graphics, these rad graphics. And you have the arcade. Uh, thing is, you cannot enter the arcade unless two conditions are met. The first one is that you do the three stages, and the second one, uh, when I actually did my first playthrough of this, um, I, right, I did the three stages, and I was locked at the entrance of the arcade by saying, oh, only time travelers are, are allowed in. Uh, see you in 2030. What you have to do is that you have to set your switch to 2030 to be able to enter the arcade. I am not joking. This is why my switch is set in 2030. Which is, I think, a big brain solution. And by the way, I have no clue what engine this is in. Oh yeah, fun fact. Um, on these like flat stages, when you first start the level, um, the camera is zoomed in until you jump for the first time. I don't know why. Though to be fair, this game could, this game could be mostly summarized by I don't know why. <laughs> It's a really strange game. There we go. Oh, wow, that was too short. Okay. okay. Stop two. Stop one. Go over. I uh, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, this is one of the hardest stages. It's one of the stages that gives me the most trouble uh, when I do runs. Along with a couple more. There we go. Uh, by the way, I don't know why this game is called... We try to find information. By we, I mean the Discord server. Uh, we try to find information on this game. It's deceptively hard to find information. I think you know why. Uh, the uh, publisher for this... Well, the developer for this game is called Banana Cat. So if you wanted to find the game before it was taken off the eShop, uh, you had to enter Banana Cat A Game Nintendo eShop. And it was only in Europe. So yeah, um, and the game was only available for like six months between October 2021 and March 2022. And uh, I actually bought the game day one because just I found it by complete accident uh, on the eShop. And I'm now one of the only owner of the one of the only owners of this game. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go here. It was it was ninety nine cents. Indeed, it was not an entire euro. So here, um, our friend tells us, you know what? You're going to find you're going to fight Dracula. So you're going to go in his castle and, well, defeat him. Uh, I'm actually the world record holder, yes. Um, my world record is in 16 minutes, though you can see by the mistakes that um, I can go way lower than this. I think a sub-13 might be possible with enough, with, uh, enough grinding. Okay, I'm going 
need to focus a little bit here because some of these platforms are not exactly ideal. But it's one of the later platforms that you're going to see here that you're going to use a mechanic that was not introduced before. Um, and is probably the most baffling technique uh, to not have been introduced in a... Oh, there we go. To not have been introduced in a... Uh, in a game before to have to be used. So here we're going to just focus there. There we go, there we go. Take the platforms here. There we go. You have to mid-air jump. The game doesn't tell you that you have a mid-air jump. But you have to do it to be able to pass this platform. Why? <laughs> just why? Okay, we're going to see something funny here. So, as I said, the camera is zoomed in on this stage unless you press the jump button. And uh, as you can see, yeah, the, the text is not exactly planned to make you... There we go. Oh, there we go. One. So here it... So here the goal is to defeat Dracula. And of course, he has three phases that get progressively harder. Keep in mind that when you die, you actually reset to the um, phase that you died on, not to the start, which is, I think, a little bit f more fair, I guess. <sighs> Ooh, that was bad. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of the jumps are deceptively hard as well to hit. Yeah, I'm going to be slightly behind PB teams, about like 20 seconds away. There we go. So yeah, how could scum like me defeat me? It will scum like you defeat me. And remember, remember kids, remember. Yep, remember. And time. 16.22, we're six seconds off my PB, which is not that bad, to be fair. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so, has anyone translated that binary? Yes, uh, the binary is actually actually stand for uh, type uh, the Konami code on the title screen, and uh, which is what I want to talk about. And the reason why it was actually the reason why it was actually pulled off is that uh, so first of all. Um, I'm going to put like epilepsy warning, like flashing lights warning. It's going to be definitely rough on the eyes. There we go. Uh, so it's actually inspired on the, uh, I think Sonic CD. Uh, I'm going to just, there we go. Um, it's inspired of the Sonic CD uh, bonus uh, on the Sonic CD, like, uh, Sonic, yeah, Sonic screen, yeah. And keep in mind that when you, on the version 1.0 of the game, on the version 1.0 of the thing, if you leave this screen running long enough, um, an image will appear uh, that I'm not showing because I want this uh, channel to still be alive. Um, because the... Um, the image, is, the image in question, I will just summarize it, is uh, the Chinese president uh, dressed in a period piece from the late 1930s in Germany. Yeah, uh, I don't really want to show this, so yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't want to show it. <laughs> 
Um, there we go. So yeah, uh, this was ah. Um, I actually I actually showed the the tire screen, but yeah. Uh, I will be back tomorrow for super inefficient golf. But thank you for making me show uh, this really really interesting game. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Cheers.